Kyle again, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a cool masking tutorial asked by Death Label. Okay, so go with voltage and I don't remember which one these I wanted to pick. 3D01, I think. This is the one I was going to mask. Yeah. File open with Sony Vegas. Yep, it's third day off in a row. And I probably should start working on my English paper. Because I have to write seven pages in two days. So, I'll do that after I'm done with this tutorial. Anyway, here we go. It's opening up. Okay, I'm gonna go File, Properties, change this to Default again, Apply, OK. And I want the mask to be towards the end, like right about here. Alright, so. I'm going to split it, delete the back end, alright, I'm going to come in here, I'm actually going to mask out this box, and that's going to be what this mask is, okay, so just kind of go around the edges of the box, and go with, make this negative, so it cuts it out, feather type, let's go with in for about 15, no, that's too much, about 3, and we'll get something kind of like that. Alright. That looks nice. Alright. I can do both. That's more like what I want right there. Alright. So now I'm going to go through the thing a little bit. Grab this movement tool thing. And move it all so it fits. And then grab these points so they fit a little better. that, move it up a little bit, here, I usually skip every other frame, or every other couple of frames for first, and then I go in between, because if you don't do it, it's not going to stay perfect, usually when you do a really nice mask, you have to pretty much do every single frame and make sure it's really clean the whole way, but I'm not going to do that, because it's just a tutorial. Okay. So you get the idea, I'm going to start skipping more and more stuff now. Alright, so we'll say that's good for our mask. That's enough frames. So, I'm going to hit S, which splits this, delete it, and if we play it, it's going to be like that, it fits on the box. Alright, so it, this bot right here, right before it connects, I'm going to add a keyframe here of me deleting the mask, pretty much. So now the mask will appear, and it'll go in. Alright, so you play it, mask comes up video can start playing through it and it's gonna all right so I'm gonna go file import media so with blizzard digs at EBI drop it put it underneath it okay so I'm gonna move it to wherever I want these digs to start coming in let's go with right about wow let's go with right about here split move it the split it you push s in case you didn't know that Alright, so you're going to start playing it, and the clip's going to start playing through the top of that box. Because all that mask does is it actually cuts out a part of the box. Okay, so what we need to do now is zoom into it. Alright, move these all to the front real quick. Okay, so we're going to play. Looks pretty good with the clip shining through the box. Okay, if you want you can add some other filters, but we're not going to. Alright, you're going to click on this button again, and it's going to give you this window. We're going to go to our position here, alright, and we're going to add a keyframe here. So, wow, right here, this add keyframe button, and then we're going to go to the end, and we're actually going to scale it down, turn it, and then move it until it actually fits inside the box. Okay, think of this as your camera view, pretty much, and... We're going to move it so it fits inside the box like this. So 
So we'll get something like that. Looks pretty awesome, I must say. One thing we're probably going to want to do, though, is make it fade, because it's just like a hard transition. Oops. So I'm going to grab this clip, uh, move it there, move it to where it starts coming here. Alright, right click, video event pan crop, and I'm gonna actually going to delete the mask on this one. Okay. So as it comes in, it's going to fade, the box is going to turn into something like that, and we have a really cool mask effect. And then we can have this guy here, shoot a guy, come over here, shoot another guy, and shoot another guy. Sweet, huh? Alright, that's my tutorial. Kind of short, but gets the point.